Lego has ever only made one Marvel CMF, so I decided I would make my own based on Avengers Infinity War. These are all some purest customs that I decided to make, and I put them into 12 of these blind bags. Spread across the blind bags are six Infinity Stones that will be placed in this gauntlet that will come with the minifigure. So let's go and open some blind bags. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and open the first blind bag. And here we have Thanos in his Infinity War outfit. He uses the head, arms, and gauntlet from the Sanctuary Thanos. He also has the torso from the Mech Thanos and the legs from Miles Morales. He's also given the Power Stone as well as the gauntlet to collect all the stones. He looks super accurate to his Infinity War look. Alright guys, I'm going ahead and opening the second bag where we have Thor. Now this is based off his look from the Wakandan fight where he has the hair from Infinity War Thor, the face from Aquaman, a red cape, the torso from Fat Thor, the arms from Sylvie, a custom built Stormbreaker, and the legs from a Death Star Trooper. He looks super cool. And in the third bag guys, we have... Nebula. This is based off her look in the Titan battle. She has the head from Quantum Nebula, the back of the torso from the Rocket Poly bag, Bucky's from the CMF arm, the legs from Benatar Star Lord, and a sword. And we're already on the fourth bag where we have Steve Rogers. Now this is his look from the Wakandan battle where he has Han Solo's hair, Infinity War Captain America's torso and head, the arms from Ethan Hunt, some shields and the legs from Captain Carter. He looks super accurate to his battle look in Infinity War. Now on to the fifth bag and we have Drax. This is just the same figure from Guardians 2 because I figured you can't get more accurate than this. Halfway through with the sixth bag here of The Collector. He uses the hair from J. Jonah Jameson, the head from a Hydra guard, the neck piece from Craven the Hunter, a white cape, the arms from Black Widow, the torso from the trolley woman from Harry Potter, the Death Star Trooper legs, the reality stone, and some white hands. The next figure is Battle Damaged Iron Man from Titan. He uses the brand new helmet mold, the torso from Avengers Tower Iron Man, the arm from Wanda, the legs from Bricktober Tony Stark, and I gave him the Time Stone. He also has the shield from Mark 85 Iron Man, and the head he uses under is actually the Silver Centurion head. And in the next blind bag, we get Human Vision. He uses the hair from Captain America, the face from Newt Scamander, the torso and legs from Statler from Muppets, and he has the Mind Stone. Inside of the next bag, we get Loki. He uses the head and hair from the TVA Loki, a green cape from Hela, the torso from CMF Bucky Barnes, the arms from Captain Carter, the legs from Aisha. I also gave him the Space Stone as well as the Tesseract. Only got a few bags left and in this one, we get Dusted Spider-Man. This is his look from when he's being faded away. I gave him the mask from the Far From Home Spidey, the head from Bespin Luke, torso and one leg from Burnt Anakin, and the other arm and leg from the Stark suit. And in our second to last bag, we get Star-Lord. He uses the head and hair from the Benatar Star-Lord, the torso from Infinity War Star-Lord, the arms from the Rocket Poly bag, the legs from T'Challa Star-Lord, and the helmet. And finally, for our last figure, we have Red Skull from Vormir. I love the way this figure turned out with the hood from Palpatine, the head and torso from Red Skull, the two tethered capes from Corvus Glaive, the shadow piece from a Dementor, and the Soul Stone. And there is every single figure from my custom Lego Marvel Infinity War CMF. I really loved the way this turned out and I'd like to know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to not miss a video. Here's my ranking of my favorite to least favorite. I really loved the collector. I loved all of them. But let me know your favorite.